Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Let's discuss a short story by Karur Neelaganda Pillai in this video that is Wooden Dolls. Karur Neelaganda Pillai is a famous Malayalam short story writer who was born in the year 1898 and he was also one of the founders of Sahitya Pravartaga Sahagarana Sangam. He began his career as a school teacher and later turned to literature and he became one of the best short story writers of Malayalam literature. The 1930s witnessed the progress of the short story format of storytelling in Malayalam. Uh, Karur along with other writers like Tagari Shivashangara Pillai, P. K. Shavadev, Pongunam Varki, Vaika Muhammad Bashir, S. K. Potakada, etc. paved the way for developing a new style in Malayalam short story genre. They heralded a generation of short story writers who used the short story both as an effective means of propagating their humanistic beliefs and ideas and as an expression of a new aesthetic. He often presented the plight of the middle class people, of the working class, the life of the working class people in a simple and canted manner. He has presented characters with different shades, both from the village and city. His stories are so realistic and are often laced with humor like that of the works of Bashir and Urub. Karur often turns satirical with the perspective of a cynic, but at times he remains as a detached observer recording the events around him. The locale of his stories is the former princely state of Travancore. Brevity is the soul of his short stories. Karur's notable short stories include Marapavagal, that is wooden dolls, Patta Gadagal, Tiranyadita Gadagal, Rehasyam, Ambala Parambil, Poovan Param, Urupidi Manna, Meen Kari, Kochanujati, etc. There are much more short stories which was written by Karur Nilaganda Pillai. Uh, he has also written stories for children. He was the recipient of the Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for his story, Modiram, in the year 1969. Karur's short story Wooden Dolls, it was originally titled as Marapavagal in Malayalam. It presents a conversation between an enumerator. He is a person employed in taking a census of the population. He represents the government and also a girl named Nalini. So this was actually a conversation between an enumerator and a girl named Nalini. This Nalini is very much bold, vibrant and she is also an artist. And she through her replies to the enumerator unleashes her own life with a touch of humor. Karur's brilliance as a writer is evident in this story. It is a fine specimen of how a writer could create magic out of an unpromising material. In this story, Nalini is the young woman protagonist who leaves her husband because of his drunken, wife-beating, beastly ways and life and uh, she lives by making dolls and selling the dolls. She is a very much powerful female character of wooden dolls and she was a character, uh, she was a courageous character, beautiful and also talented. Her wooden dolls turn out to be self-portraits of which even other women ridicule her for selling herself. The story Wooden Dolls begins with the enumerator checking up the door number of the house and he makes sure that it is 312 Ashari Parambil. He asks whether anyone is there in the house and suddenly a woman appears and he enquires whether the house belongs to a woman named Ummini by looking into the papers he had. So this young woman who opened the door was very much scared but the man assures that he has come to count the people as part of census and as a representative of the government. From this moment onwards, an intriguing conversation takes place between the two and she says that Umini is her mother. The enumerator takes a seat on the bench in the veranda and he continues to ask questions. 
he understands that the girl's name is nalini she was 23 years old and also married she shies away from the questions regarding her husband at first and uh, she tells the man to write husbandless she also says that she has no children the enumerator he later asks about her income to which she replies that she does not go for any work she boldly tells the man now to write that she does not have a husband because he had earlier taken her even to the court the words of nalini become a kind of assertion of womanhood but after some time uh, nalini goes inside the house and returns with three wooden dolls she says this is my occupation it takes me no more than a day to make one of them but all the statues she uh, made was actually of female figures she said that she had stopped ma- uh, making male figures because when she think of her husband all the statues which she prepares it looks more and more like uh, him that means uh, he with all his, her fury reflected on the face of the statue so gradually people stop buying these figures so she gave up making male figures then she uh, tried to make the image of shri parvati and uh, she would look into the mirror and put on parvati's expression she will uh, imagine that parvati and parameshwara used to quarrel among themselves sometimes so she she would look into the mirror and put on parvati's expressions on her face and then transfer them to wood imagining she is parvati she made that statues but in the end all parvati figures were so much alike so thus nalini recreates her own self through the statues of parvati through this process she finds a way to release her emotions and establish her own identity the dolls are actually the representations of different female emotions and a tussle against the male dominated society nalini says that she is not afraid of anyone now she takes away all the wooden dolls except one and later she narrates her life story to the enumerator she calls her husband a brute who used to drink heavily and pick up quarrels with anyone who came across he was often taken to the taken to the police station where he used to spend the whole night later she saw her husband return to the house tipsy and unsteady thus uh, she left the house and has come to her mother the enumerator decides to leave the house and she says that he can take that wooden doll if he likes he finds the doll with her raudra expression and that makes him sad realizing this she goes inside and brings another doll a slightly bigger one of parvati doing tapas he accepted the gift with an expression of joy and gratitude and then uh, he moved on to the next house this short story actually reveals the social scenario of kerala during the early decades of the 20th century karur actually delineates a typical routine encounter between an enumerator and the woman he is interviewing and transforms it into an exploration of the creative process actually this meeting between this encounter and the woman it is a typical routine encounter a, ru- a typical routine event which happens everywhere karur actually uh, create magic out of an unpromising material the enumerator represents the reader response to the story narrated by nalini the story attains a universal signification as it echoes the concerns of a woman struggling to find a foothold in the patriarchal world